Hi everyone, my name is Alex Martinez. I am a developer advocate at MuleSoft. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to design async API specifications using a practical example. Take a look at this example created by async API. In this video, we are going to use this architecture created right here to implement our use case. So pretty much what's happening is that whenever a user signs up into your website, you are going to send this message with the information from the user into the queue or the message broker. And after that, the queue will send an email to that user. So for example, we have the account service or the account API. It's sending the message to the queue. And then the email service is subscribed to that message broker or to that queue, and it's consuming the message from the queue so it can send the appropriate email to the user. Now let's head to our Anypoint platform and start designing our async API specifications. So if we go to Design Center and click on Start Designing, now let's press on Create New Async API. We're going to name this the account service, and this is going to be using async API 2.6 in YAML. So let's click on create API. All right, let's start designing our specification. So the first thing we're going to do is to add a description. As you can see from here, it's already letting you know that you have something that you can put in there. So the description in this case is going to be published, publishes the user signed up event when a new user account is created. Then we are going to be adding some servers. So you can either click from it from uh, the bottom or you can select control space to give you the options. And here we also have servers. So let's select servers. Let's create one for any point MQ. And then we need to add some more stuff like the URL and the protocol. Protocol, let's select any point MQ. Now we can continue with the channel section. So inside this channel, we have to create one channel or a queue. In this case, let's name it user sign up. This is going to be the name of the queue that you need to create in any point MQ. Now this next part is very important. You can select a publish or a subscribe operation. So if we take a look at our architecture, we are going to be sending or publishing the message from the account service into the message broker. So you would think that you would have to use the publish operation. But that is not the case. You can look at it as if you were creating this specification from the queue's perspective. So instead of publishing the message from the account service, put yourself on the perspective from the queue. So from the message broker, you are not publishing something to the account service. You are subscribed to whatever is coming from the account service. So if we think of it that way, then in this case, we have to add a subscribe operation right here. Then let's add some operation ID like a mid user sign up event. And finally, let's add the message that we want to show. And before I add this reference, let me actually create a component. So if I am here, you can select components, messages. And I am going to be creating a user signed up message, kind of what we had here. User signed up is the kind of message that we will be sending. Now let me just paste the payload that I want to be using here. So we have a type object and the properties are going to be first name, last name, both strings, email string and created at string. And this has some examples so you can generate the example in the documentation. So now that we have that, we can add the reference to the message right here, select the reference and it will now give us the user signed up reference, which is the component right here. Now you can take a look at the right, just to make sure that everything looks good. This is the description. This is the server, which is AnyPointMQ. This will have your MQ URL. In the channels, we have the user sign up, which has a subscribe method. And if you take a look at that, it has some example like this one, first name, last name, email, and created at. 
So that looks good. Let's publish it to Exchange and then we can continue with the email service. Okay, this has been published to Exchange. Now let's go back to Design Center. Now let's create a new async API and this is going to be the email service. Create API. Same as we did before, let's add a description. Then let's add the same server that we did previously, which is the Anypoint MQ. This has to match because we will be using the same queue. Now for the channels, we still have to use the same name, which is user sign up. It's the same that we used in the previous one. But now here, again, if we take a look at this from the queue's perspective, we are not subscribed to the email service. We are publishing to the email service. So here, instead of using the subscribe operation or method, we're going to be using the publish. Then we add some operation ID, the message, and we're going to be using the same component as we did before because this is the same message. So now we just have to reference to it from the message. And yes, you can create this component to reuse it later. But for now, we're just copying and pasting the same information. So now if you take a look at the right, make sure that everything looks good. You have the email service version one. Subscribe to receive the user sign up event to send the new user a welcome email. API servers, anypoint MQ, API channels, user sign up, which has a published method with the example of first name, last name, email, and created at. And same as we did before, let's publish this to Exchange. It was published, so now we can navigate to Exchange and take a look at our specifications. And now you can see that you have both the email service and the account service, both are async API specifications. And if you open them, you will be able to see the same summary that we saw before publishing them. So you can confirm that everything looks good. And that's it. Congratulations, you have successfully designed your first async API specifications using Design Center. Now the next step is to actually implement these specifications using either AnyPoint Code Builder or AnyPoint Studio. And because we will be using AnyPoint MQ as the message broker, we will also learn in future videos how to do that. All right, that is all for this video. I hope to see you later in another video. Bye.